In today's video, I'll be working on some fall decorations. And you guys know me, I love using things of nature when I decorate for fall. Such a beautiful season. In case you're new here, welcome. My name's Mary, and here on YouTube, I like to share many of the projects I have going on around here with you all. I live in northeastern Ohio, and the leaves are starting to change just a bit. Here and there, you're gonna see some colorful leaves. The air is just a little bit crisper. And of course the sounds out there are just a little bit different too. Uh, there's not as many birds singing, but we still have those tree frogs in the evening, which I just love. And I also wanted to share with you that a number of years ago, Holmes County, Ohio was actually voted by National Geographic as one of the top spots to visit during the fall season. Isn't that awesome? So let's get right into the video. Earlier this summer, I had spotted some bittersweet growing along the fence line behind one of our cottages, Apple Blossom. Decided to go over there and clip some off. Normally, I'm not that fond of really bright, vivid colors when I decorate for fall, but there's something about bittersweet, I guess being that it's you know totally natural and it dries so pretty. Um, I think I'll end up using some somewhere. Here I'm using my drying rack to hang it. I'm gonna dry it here in the basement. I plan to make a wreath with some of this bittersweet. And here I have a grapevine or a piece of grapevine that I just created a circle with. I um, used floral wire to kind of hold it together. I'm also using the floral wire to hold the sprigs in place. We had planted some corn also over the cottages this summer, had gotten a really nice harvest out of that. But the other day, John was removing the stalks and I told him I really want some to create some you know, corn shocks with and he wasn't sure you know, how many I need, but he ended up just bringing a whole truckload. So I should be able to find enough if I sort through this. Um, a lot of them are kind of broken and not really nice anymore. So surprisingly, it was kind of hard to find a nice straight ones, but I should be able to find enough here.
I have a corn husk wreath hanging on our front door that I made years ago, and I can't believe how well it's been holding out over the years. Of course, I store it carefully, like I try not to crush it or anything, but it seems once these stalks are dried, they kind of stay that way. And here I am once again sorting through this pile, and I intend to make another wreath, probably a little bit different from the one that I have. I do love the color combination of all of these stalks, even as they're lying here, um, just that pretty green, a tan, there's even a hint of red. Um, it just looks so fallish. You can probably tell what I'm doing here without me having to explain too much, but basically I have a wire wreath form. I wrapped some corn leaves out around it to cover it, and I'm just using hot glue to glue my leaves in place. And as I started you know, working on this, first I thought, does it kind of look like a sun? I didn't really want that look. But as I started adding you know, shorter leaves and coming further into the middle with my pieces, I thought it looked a little better, hopefully. And again, I do like this color combination. I did gather some tassels too that I plan to create a wreath with. And here I have a wreath from, I think maybe Walmart. It's one of those grapevine wreaths and it is fairly dense. So it's really nice to just be able to stick these tassels in here. I don't even have to glue them and that way I can remove them and add something else for another season. I want to add some pumpkins and a few other things with my fall decorations, especially on the outside. And here I'm heading to Mount Eaton, and I had heard of a Amish-owned produce stand up there that has really good prices and a nice variety of things. So we'll see what they have. I've been wanting to make one of those paper leaf garlands for an inside decoration, of course, and I went ahead and printed out a leaf image that I liked. I got it off of Canva. I have three different types of paper that I found around the house here, um, three different colors. the point of cutting them out here. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna use to you know, glue them on or fasten them, but I'm thinking maybe some grapevine, like a grapevine section, we'll see.
I'm gonna try to fasten these leaves using hot glue. If I see, you know, it doesn't work or they just wanna fall off for me, I can always use floral wire. I had made this all natural potpourri last year and had showed it in a video. And I'll link that video down below in the description box in case you wanna make it. But I'm really impressed with how nice it still looks, like it looks fresh. I decided to make a pillow with a pumpkin image on it to set on the chair beside the buffet. I thought that would look kind of cute there. Here I printed out a pumpkin image on transfer paper and I have a Cricut heat press that I use to do these things. And if you don't have a heat press and you enjoy projects like this, you definitely should invest in one of these heat presses. For years I used to just use my iron and I tell you it's just the biggest difference since I have this heat press. Um, it's such a handy tool to have around. It even has a timer on it, so I know exactly how long you know I need to press. And it's just this nice, even, you know, large area that it presses at a time. And I'll try to have that link down below in the description box for this press. And these pillow covers will also be available on the Etsy shop in case you wanna would like to purchase one. I don't know, do you guys remember when I installed this old sink underneath the deck here in my space that I had talked about how I envisioned having one of those plugs that are attached to a chain for my sink. 
I always was kind of fascinated with that as a little girl when people would have that at their old sinks. And wouldn't you believe it, one of you guys actually sent me some. So thank you, Jane, all the way from the UK. I couldn't believe it. It looks so pretty and perfect. It of course made me happy when I got them, but you guys don't have to send me things. I always feel so unworthy, but I really appreciate it, thank you. And I think more than anything, it just means a lot to know that you know what I, like you know my heart, you know what I want, and you're listening when I you know, mention or when I think aloud and say what I wanna add or whatever, you know, of course I'm not hinting for anything, but I do appreciate it. I decided to display a few pumpkins out by the Etsy shop along with these pretty asters. One of my favorite things that I did recently has to be these burning bushes that I put on our back patio and front porch. You guys might remember I had used starts out of my own gardens, put them in pots, and had an instant little tree on the patio. Now, being that it's fall, they of course turned into this beautiful red color. So I just felt like I had this perfect little tree for every season back here. The ones on the back deck turned red a lot quicker than the ones on the front porch. Uh, those don't get as much sun but I definitely wanna take note of this and if they don't survive the winter, I wanna just get some more starts out of my gardens next year, it's so worth it. But hopefully I can get them to survive the winter. Hopefully I was able to give you guys some new ideas of some easy, inexpensive fall decorations you could incorporate into your own home. Um, it's always amazing to me how much cheer that brings into a room um, just to you know fix up some seasonal decorations. Um, so much fun and to me I think it's more valuable if I kind of do most of it myself or partially at least instead of just going out and buying everything. Not that there's anything wrong with that. but. I guess uh, we're all different in that way, but for me, that's kind of what works. I just feel more accomplished if I can do it myself. And if you are needing a few new products and you don't really have the means to do it yourself, we do have these little signs available on the Etsy shop. You saw one of them displayed on the shelf, but we have three different fall designs that we're gonna sell on the Etsy shop. I think they turned out really cute. The images are engraved onto this MDF plywood and then the top and the bottom is gonna be pine wood painted a cream color. And we really debated, do we wanna add a string or a metal hanger? And I think we're gonna go with the metal hanger. I feel someone could always add their own string if they'd rather have that. 
uh, but I think they would look cute, you know, hanging on the wall or just sitting on a shelf. And this pillow here is the other new item on the Etsy shop. I think this turned out pretty cute too. And this will be only the cover, not the insert included. I did see an image on Pinterest that kind of inspired me to create this. It's of course not the exact same image, but I really like the simplicity of just having a pumpkin on here. So make sure to head on over to the Etsy shop if you're at all wanting any of these. And as always, I hope your day is going great. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.